A New York City gallery owner, Jahangir Tehran, recently experienced a violent encounter for wearing a Make America Great Again hat. Tehran is 35 years old, and he described the incident, which occurred on Canal Street in Soho in New York at around 6.15 p.m. as shocking and brutal. Tehran was attempting to walk through a crowd when a girl in the group knocked his hat clean off of his head. Within seconds, he was pushed from behind, causing his face to hit a scaffolding pole. This sudden and aggressive attack left Tehran with broken bones under his eye and severe bruises. He was frustrated and upset over the lack of arrests, feeling it was unjust to be beaten simply for wearing a red hat that says, Make America Great Again. Following the incident, Tehran filed a lawsuit against the organizers of an art pop-up event he believes contributed to the attack. The lawsuit claims the event served alcohol without a proper license, leading to the attackers becoming belligerent. He is seeking damages for his injuries and emotional distress and hopes to identify his attackers very soon. The person that organized the event denied responsibility for the attack. She claimed not to know the attackers and emphasized her respect for everyone's political opinions and insisted that the incident had nothing to do with her. During the attack, the group allegedly shouted anti-Make America Great Again sentiments. Tehran found the incident deeply upsetting, particularly because he felt like differences of opinion should not lead to violence. He managed to cross the street and call the police, filing a report about the assault. However, he felt disappointed that the police in New York did not take immediate action against the group, despite their aggressive behavior. The New York Police Department did confirm the assault and stated they are investigating. However, they have not provided descriptions of the attackers.